don't care for vegetable and non veg because either you kill a cow or kill a vegetable the sinful action is there eh? and according to nature's law it is said that the animals which has no hand that is the food for the animals with hands we are also animals with hands We human beings, we are all animals with hands, and there are animals no hand but four legs, and there are animals which has no leg. That is vegetable. How about the animals of the Swana? These animals which has no leg, they are food for the animals with four legs. Just like cow eats grass. The goat eats grass. So eating vegetable, there is no credit. Then the goats and the cows and more credit have more credit because they don't touch anything except milk. So we are not preaching to become goats and cows. We are preaching that we become servant cows. So what about Krishna eats? We. If Krishna says that give me meat, give me eggs, so we shall offer Krishna meat and eggs, and we shall take it. So don't think that we are after vegetarian or non-vegetarian. No, that is not our plan. Because either you take vegetable or you take meat, you are killing, and you have to kill, because otherwise you cannot live. That is nature's way. Yeah. So we are not for that way. Why do you put the stricture on? Stricture on in this way, no meat eating, because cow protection is required. We require milk, and instead of taking milk, we we eat the cows. Then where is meat? So milk is very important. Very very important. In terms of the production of food for the world, the world would be much better off without meat. Meat is required. Some fatty, vitaminous food is required. That necessity is supplied by milk. Therefore, specifically, couldn't you get all the necessity that you require from grains? Grains, no. Grains, they are starch. According to medical science, we require four different groups: starch, carbohydrate, protein, and fat. That is full food. So you can get all these things by eating rice, dal, min pulses, and wheat. These things contain pulses, and wheat contains protein, and milk also contains protein. So protein we require. Fat we get from milk. Fat is required. And vegetables, carbohydrate, and food grain, starch. So if you prepare nice food stuff with all these ingredients, you get food and offer to Krishna. Then it is purified, then you are free from all sinful action. Otherwise, even if you kill vegetable, you are sinful because it has got life. You have no right to kill another life, but you have to live on life. This is your purpose. Therefore, the solution is that you take prasada. If there is sin by eating vegetable or meat, it goes to the eater. We take the remnants. That's all.